Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Hi, Jasmine. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too, teacher. Okay. Let me see. Okay, we already have Doris. Doris, she's in the class already. Yes, teacher. <laughs> Hi, Doris. Nice to see you, Doris. Thank you, teacher. Hey. Okay. Hi, Fernando. Hi. How are you? How is it going? Uh, I'm doing well. Okay. You look different today. Maybe because I cut my hair. Yeah, right? Yes. That's why. Okay. Let's see. Okay, let's wait for your classmates. Oh, hey, teacher, by the way, there is and the platform for the homework at 3.7. Yeah. I have to choose um, what type of sentence it is, if it's the main subject, if it's uh, additional information, or if it's a conclusion. And the number one in the exercise, it says you have to pick one for one, or one, either one, two, or three. Mm -hmm. and answering that one is number four, which four is nothing. So. Okay, let me check. Section three. Yes, yeah, section three, uh, homework 3.7. Wow, this is cool. Which one? The number one. The first one. To benefit their guests, employees, and businesses. And I put either one, two, or three, and they showed up as wrong. And I put number four, and it showed up as right. But in this the indication says that either one from one to three. So. Yeah, that's right, exactly. Okay, so I feel that there is a, a number that is uh, repeated. I, I don't remember what, but I put a number in, in uh, twice, and this was the right answer. Okay, so I'm going to be checking this exercise, you know? Just mm -hmm. later on, I'm going to be checking, and I'm just going to let you know about this. By the way, thank you, Jasmine, for uh, letting me know about this, you know? I was also checking the platform, and as you may see, this is the progress. This is the progress, chicos, que llevamos. Homework number one, that is section number one, section number two, and the midterm exam. You know, I'm still missing Diego. I don't know if Diego is, is in the class already. And, oh, he had his platform, mm -hmm. I remember that. And then he was having... Um, Someone from my team contact him, but I don't know if they can contact with I him or not. I don't know either. Yeah, I'm going to be asking him today. And remember, we need to have at least an 80%, an 80. Or, of course, I know we can get the 100%, right? So in this case, only Janari in section number one. I don't know what happened here. And also, yes, Francisco in Kenya, right, in section number one, and Erwin in section number two, and that's it. And I'm still missing from Erwin the midterm exam. Uh, remember that we are just missing six classes today, that is class number 21, let me check on that, and we're gonna be finishing next Monday. We are still missing section number three, section four, and the final exam. So we need to complete those activities of 
course, I'm gonna be giving some time, you know, I guess it is this coming Wednesday and on Friday. So we can together complete those sections and also the final exam. So before Monday, we can be ready, you know, uh, with all the exercises for the platform. So in the case of Jasmine, yes, I see that you have been working in the platform exercises and that's so nice, you know, David as well. I don't know if the rest of you have been working in those exercises as well. If not, don't you worry, just let me know. Teacher, I'm being honest, I didn't spend my vacation time, you know, in the platform, but no, that's okay because we have time, we have time, you know. Let me see, Lourdes. Okay, Lourdes, thank you so much for letting me know about that, Lourdes. Okay, I already have nine, nine students. Empecemos ya, chicos. Tell me, how was your week? What did you do? Did you have fun with your family? What did you do? Did you stay home? Did you go to, what was the name? Silverland? Let me know. Did you practice your English? Sleep. <laughs> Sleep, Sleep, okay. Recovered. Now in my case, yes, you know, let, let me tell you, okay. I went to uh, Perkin, Perkin, you know, because uh, my parents, well, my dad, he's from there. So yeah, whenever we got the chance to go there, yeah, we go because we have a, a house right there in, in Llano del Muerto, Perkin, you know, it's an amazing place in which you can go and forget about Everything, you know. No sé si han ido ustedes o han escuchado about Llano del Muerto, Perkin, Morazán. It's a beautiful place, you know. So this is uh, the place that I visited with my family. And after that, we we came back to San Salvador on Thursday. And I stayed home. And that's it. This is what I did. So how about you? Let me know about the activities that you did. Only Jasmine, she said that did you stay home and that's it uh no i went to guatemala really okay yes. you went to went the cold mm -hmm. the cold guatemala uh, cold. Yeah. okay okay with your family yeah i went with my my mom uh, an aunt and my cousin oh, and your cousin okay How about you doris what did you do well, I went to the beach. Uh, the beach is the in La Unión. Okay. The beach Torola. Torola. Yeah, a beautiful beach. Really? Yes. Torola. Okay. Torola. Who did you went with? Who did you go with? Uh, with my cousin, um, co-worker. Oh my God! It really yes. And then uh, uh, another day, I visited a uh, ruta. Uh, I don't know ruta de. Ruta de las flores, no? No, panorámica. Panorámica, okay. Santiago, Texacao, Texacuango. Oh Por yeah. Ahí. Santiago yes. Texacuano, yeah, it's a really nice place. Santiago yes. Texacuano. One of my sister, uh, she lives there, Santiago Texacuano. Oh. Yeah. So, it's yeah. a beautiful place. It's mm -hmm. a beautiful place, yes, I know. So, you know, let me give you at least five minutes, you know, so you can go tell your classmates about the activities you did this previous week, okay? So, this is just part of the introduction. Remember, we are just getting ready to review the topic. Let me ask you, do you still remember about the topic that we were discussing last week, previous week before this week off? 
What was the topic about? I guess you don't, right? You don't remember, so? This is what we're going to do as, as, as the first activity. Let me give you some time, you know, go talk to your classmates, say hi, and ask them about the activities that you did. I want to say. Here we go. Vamos a enviarlos en pareja. So it will take from five to less than 10 minutes, right? Talk to your classmates. Here we go. What is the topic? What is the question? What did you do last week? What was it? David. You are sending me to the three and six. Three and six. Okay. Okay, don't you worry, Yanari. Okay, I'm just missing William. I have to yeah. I have to use to for my new for my new uh, for my new holiday. Yeah. <laughs> my, my, I, yeah. my next vacation is in September five, five because oh. it's a, uh, in in USA is uh, I, I don't know how do you say the trabajo work day in, uh, in USA. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Labor, labor Day, Labor, labor. Day, yes. It's mm -hmm. September 5. The, the first Monday of the of, of September is Labor Day in, in USA, so. <laughs> oh, that's when you you have the chance to rest. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Now, and and can you like get your annual vacations whenever you yes. want? Or? Yes. Yes, uh, I have the the, the the same benefits. Uh, uh, I have uh, the same discounts, like a. Uh, the, the, the company is here, but the holidays are mm. from USA. So all, all, yeah. all the other aspects are from, from here, but the only the holidays are from USA. So. <laughs> but at least I, I guess you get paid twice. Uh, twi uh, I, I, uh, it's uh, typical food. Is like the Ruta de las Flores? No. Yes, it, this, this is place the place there are restaurants, uh, different restaurants, but it's a, a basic, it's a typical food. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not that expensive? No, no, no it's, not, it's not expensive. It's, it's is it is acceptable the price is not expensive and there are the the restaurant there are in height wow. and, yes and the, the the view is 
uh, lago uh, Leica eh, Ilopango. In, so there is not, it's not hot. It is a cold weather. Yes, it's a cold weather, but it's a beautiful. When I, I, when I stay in here, there, eh, the room, the room, the, no, I want to say Neblina. Neblina when going to eh, arrive for the hills uh, um, uh, at a uh, Lake uh, Ilopango. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> yes. I, I thought it was just, I have a friend that, that works in tourism, but I thought that was like uh, only in the, in the hallway. I didn't know it was. Uh, maybe. Maybe that is the reason. Okay, you you are from from Metapan? No, I live near from Metapan. You live near from, from Metapan? You you were you were you was saying the the, the last the last class I I I remember that uh, about the this place don't, where we can go. To have a, a ¿qué partida de nacimiento? Oh, yes. Uh, uh, El RN. RNPN. But the next month, maybe at the end of the next month, you can have the opportunity to get your... your... Hi, Diego. Hi. How is it going? I'm good, and you? I'm good. So are you ready for this class? Uh, yes, yes, I will be here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just let me ask you about the platform. Are you still having those issues to log in? Well, actually, I never uh, really? received another call from you didn't. the IT guys. Yeah, and and just, I, I, I wanna let you know that this is my last week because I will not be able to be on the nets, on the nets, what? Uh -huh. uh, first, because to really? be honest, mm -hmm. yes, it, it's kind of hard uh, know, for the time. Mm -hmm. So today I spoke with, uh, with HR and with, my, with my, mm -hmm. one of my boss. Mm -hmm. So they already know. And they already now, know. You know, now oh. you know, so if you, if they, told you about this uh, you will be aware no no not really mm -hmm. you know i didn't know about this uh, but no just let me help you you know mm -hmm. so you mm -hmm. can get the el avanzado dos, like the certificate at the end of this course because we actually Perfect. are going to have the last class on monday so it's not this friday okay. but next uh, monday so yes mm -hmm. uh, i can help you with that so you can get the uh, that certificate you know at the end of this course uh, okay, I'm perfect. gonna send your information again. So please mm -hmm. just let me know. Probably uh, they're gonna be contacting you tomorrow, I guess. Okay. Right? So we right. can All get right. uh, oh. stay together at the end of the class so we can, you know, um, have those exercises ready for this week. So, okay. Okay. So, okay. Thank so, you. You know, as of right now, we are just uh, discussing what did you do last week so you can interact with your classmates. I'm going to be sending you to a room so you can. Also, oh, today them. it's like a conversation. Yeah, but this is just the first okay. activity, you know, the first activity oh, okay. that we can introduce this class. Okay. Okay, so, perfect. Okay. Good. Okay, go with David and Andres. Thank you.
uh, it feels good because I don't know, it, it makes you like like all your blood pressure goes high and um, it's on the other level. And have you ever tried? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even though uh, I said I said I'm on the street, it's not good to race, but um, sometimes when when there's a car next to me, uh, <laughs> trip in I this try man. to <laughs> race with me. <laughs> I step up to it. <laughs> when I know it, the car is like more more like racing than the one I'm driving, I just let it go. But I think if I am be able to, to step up to it, I'll do it. The most high speed that I have been with the Okay. Okay, hopefully you have enough time to see, tell your classmates about the activities that you did. So, let's move on. First activity. Only me? Yeah. I can listen to you. It's only me, I don't know. No, 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 no. I can't listen. Really? I don't know the other I guys guess it's you. Can listen to you. So the magicos, me pueden escuchar? Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Oh, so I guess it's yes. David. <laughs> I guess David is having issues. Vamos a escribirle. Bien, aquí vamos. So, CSR. What do you remember about this? CSR. What is CSR? What does, what's the meaning of this? CSR. I don't know, but it, it sounds like a customer service relationship. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a great social responsibility. There we go, Andres. That's right. Okay, CSR, this is a model. It's a self-regulating business model that helps a company be socially, aquí está la clave, socially accountable to itself, its stakeholders and the public, CSR. Um, in section, well, in unit number three and unit number four, this is like the main topic that we are going to be covering. Um, previous class, we were discussing about some examples as well. As you may see, um, we have like these four big categories and um, we were also discussing about some examples. We were having like some definitions as well. And as you may see, the CSR, is the model is based on uh, like these four um, categories, like the workplace, environment, community, and social issues, right? This was the last activity. If you want to see the examples that we have here in the workplace, um, environment, I don't know if you still remember about this information, like mental health support, um, helping people with disabilities, a uh, supporting em environment and all of those uh, examples that we were discussing. Whenever we talk about environment, uh, green initiatives, recycling facilities, and all of those examples. Um, for instance, whenever we talk about the community, supporting local area initiatives, easy to use internal communications processes, 
whenever we refer to social issues. Um, we were discussing about supporting charities and all of those examples, right? So that is CSR. This is a model and in El Salvador is not mandatory for businesses, either small businesses or those big companies. It's not mandatory, you know? But there are like five or six countries that they already are asking those big companies to have this model, you know? Um, the last one, and I, I was reading about this information, is uh, India, you know? Um, all small businesses, companies, they must include this model, you know? So I don't know if you've have heard about this or some examples about this model in El Salvador. I guess, right? Creo que sí pasa, el CSR. So this is what we're going to be discussing in today's class. Let me show you the topic that we have. Class number Yes, it's class number 20. Yes, I stay as long as I class number 20. A state core elements and sketch a proposal. What is the meaning of core? Core elements. What is that? Who can tell me about this or any idea about this definition? Core elements, or can you give me a synonym? The elementos centrales. Okay. Oh. Elementos centrales. Aha. Uh -huh. Any other idea? The most important elements. Okay, we really like that. Important elements. Can we say mandatory? Mm, no, maybe essential elements. Oh, or... essential. I like that. Essential, essential elements, right? So, of course, we already have like those elements. Uh, uh, about the CSR model, you know? But before we move on, because we're gonna be reading and also discussing about these elements, um, we really need to find out about these definitions, you know? We need to look for um, this information, the key terms that are related to the CSR model, you know? But take a look at these questions that we have here. It's the questions that we have at the beginning of unit number three. If you go to your student's book, this is like the first activity that we have. So we can find out a little bit more about this model, probably you have heard about this before, or you know about some uh, activities that you develop or people from human resources try to develop at your company, but you didn't know that these are part of a, of a model, the corporate social responsibility. So first activity, go and find out about this one. We have four different questions, okay? Uh, let me see, Fernando, can you help me out reading the questions that we have there? Four different questions, discussion. Okay. Uh, the question, one of the questions. Mm -hmm. The four okay. questions that we have there. Uh, have you heard about the term corporate social responsibility? Mm -hmm. Only the pink one or all the, the questions? Yeah, all of them, please. Okay. Is there a CSR program in your company? Can you name at least three corporate, corporate social responsibility programs you have heard of in your, in your country? You think a CSR program is an in, initiate, initiate, initiate? Initiative? I don't know. Initiative. Initiative, okay. It's an initiative small businesses can implement Okay, there we go. Have you heard about the term corporate social responsibility? Mm, probably, right? Or just in the class because we were discussing about that 
in the previous class. Is there a CSR program in your company? Can you name at least three corporate social responsibility programs you have heard of in your country? Remember, country. Because, uh, let me see, let's go back. We were also reading about, I guess it was Starbucks. Get over, let me look for that information. Starbucks, Coca-Cola, those, those were the examples. Let me see. I guess that, yes. Look at this information. I'm going to be sending this link as well. I guess that, yeah? If you see, we have so many examples about the activities that they as a company are um, doing in order to have this model, the corporate social responsibility. Take a look at this one. The social impact they're having. Look, this is one example. They are also creating a global network of farmers and providing them with, with trees by 2025. Yeah. They are also helping people, the environment. So here you have some other examples about how they were helping people during the pandemic as well. So those initiatives, right? These probably are some uh, similar activities that uh, probably not your, not at your company. They are not doing that at your company, right? But maybe you have heard about those examples in some other companies, businesses here in El Salvador. So this is what we were trying to find out with this one. I guess it was question number, question number four. So as an introduction before we move on, let's switch activities. Let's do this one first so we can have those um, definitions ready. And after that, we are gonna be discussing these four questions, you know? What are we going to do? As you may see, this is a group work. And let me see, we have to look for eight different terms, definitions. So let's go ahead and work in groups of four so you can have the chance of discussing this information with your classmates. Try to look for some examples or to think about possible examples. And then we go to section number three, and as you may see on test, task number 3.8, that is the video. Let me see where is it. We're going to be pasting this information just there, okay? So if you want to go back, probably, you know, this coming days, check that information. You're going to be having that information there. 3.8. Look, here we have video conferencia numero 20. That this is like the topic from today. And don't pay attention to the video, but here in the discussion box, you're going to be pasting those uh, definitions. Okay. Is it clear what we're going to do in this moment? Look for these key terms about the CSR model, working in groups, pasting that information, uh, just where I already said. And after that, we are gonna be comparing the definition and the examples, okay? This is the activity that we are going to do in this month. So, I'm going to be sending this picture 
to WhatsApp. So you can go ahead, check this information there. And if not, you can also go to your student's book. There you have the same information as well. Section number three, there you are going to find this information as well, okay? So here we go. Let's get ready and look for those definitions. Groups of four. Okay, here we go. Christian, you are sending me to different groups. Okay. David, group number one and group number number four. Number four. Okay, go. Go to room number four. Go, please. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yes, I'm still missing Diego, Telma. Oh, Telma, she's already there. Andres and William. Hi, Harbin. How is it going? Hello, teacher. Everything Hi. is fine. How are you? It's really nice to have you back. You know, as of right now, this is what we are working on. You know, uh, okay. go to your. I'm gonna be sending you to a room, so you need to look for this information. You know, okay. The definition okay. about this one. Do not forget to go to the platform task 3.8 and there you're gonna be pasting that information, okay? Okay. okay. Okay, go to room number three.
los de arriba, los de abajo. Uh, you want the, the first one. You want those or whatever? I will. I will looking for the this those. Okay. Wow. And I send you. Uh, yes, uh, I don't know. You can open now. You are you in your computer? Yes. Uh, in a TXT document or Word document, maybe. The, the first uh, put the, the the concept there, and maybe after after that we can share by chat or. Okay, uh, I only you give me your, your number. No, or you can you can put the the concept here in the chat, and I will I will take. Okay. I will open a document, a word document. And I will put your concept there. Okay. Bra. And we are going to look for short or? Mm. Yeah. It's up to you if, you if you think that the concept is short, but this is clear. Después vamos a dar formato. Eh, when you put a concept, let me know because I I will took I will take it because then I would I will put there. Uh, I will send you uh, all, all of them. Okay, okay. When I finish. Perfect. Compliance management. Compliance. Oh.
from Dolory. Go <laughs> green. Uh, Okay, we to interview on what is compliance management. Because I remember that the first four we had already uh, looked them up. I don't know if we have to look them up again. No, of course, if you already have the definition, that's okay. Just try to paste that information in, in that section. Oh, okay. Yes, that's okay. If you already have those definitions, that's okay. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. I 
Francisco, what the connection do you have? Sorry, Francis. What the connection do you have away? Three. Three of them. Yeah. Okay. Sustainable right. development take holder. <laughs> Uh, we'll practice. I I send in the in the chat. Let me check. Let me copy. Repetition. Share economic. They have yes. yes. Good practices means using. Okay. What is missing that? We have we missing one. We have fraud, the green compliance management, environmental sustainability, reputation, mm -hmm. stakeholder good practice, and we need to look for. What else? Ah, this sustainable development. Okay. This is uh, here. Investopedia, sustainability development. Do you have it? Sustainable development that means the needs of the present without compromise the video of future generation. Yes. Yes, this is. The practice now, what is sustainable? Okay. Okay, I think we have the the Uh, I share the. Yes, oh. I have it. Ah, okay. Okay. Go green. Then compliance management. And environmental. Five reputation. And let's see, holder six. And a good practice seven. And eight. Okay, I put all of them in the chat. You can have it. For any questions? Um. Okay. 
Ok, voy a poner las primeras seis. Uh -huh. Y después las otras, porque no las agarro todas. Ok. Uh. Okay, I put all of them from one to six. And we are missing the last two. The teacher said that, that we need to share in one in one in one of the page of the platform. Yes. In what page do we have to share? Um. Me ver. Go to section number three, task three point eight. Three point eight. Three point eight. Three point eight. Yes, there you're going to be facing those definitions. Okay, we have it in this. But we need to share in the next. No, here, just right before, 3.8. Uh, mm -hmm. 3.8, ah, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. The previous. No, you were right on that section. Section number three, because that is section number four already. Go back, please. Yes, I'm trying to go back. Teacher, I, 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 mm -hmm. you said some There, there, just right that. there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, there is a problem in the, okay, this is definitions. And uh, we are uh, Doris, Andres Giovanni. David Williams. Williams, who? William. Hey, William. Are you here with that? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. And I am okay. The last two. Number seven and number eight. I will put in the chat. Using standard practice method and procedure conforming to the law reflecting what today for recent successes that we need to then perform in the good scenario in the respective from the skill of execution. In the good rationale and what in the respective from the skill of execution and experience and commission. Okay, this part. Okay, I share in the in the in the chat. You can read all the definitions, and if you have a question, ask Doris because Doris went. <laughs> Doris went to put it in the chat. <laughs> Just only copy, paste, and copy. <laughs> copy and paste. <laughs> Yeah, okay, but <laughs> try to read the definitions all together and think about possible examples, you know? Yeah, As because, you may because... see, we already have some definitions because good practices, we were working with that definition in section number two, well, unit number two, right? So we already know about that one, but for the rest of the definitions, yes, we... We didn't mm -hmm. discuss about those. So try to read the information and after that, uh, getting like uh, the main idea. If I ask you, hey, Darius, what is a good practice? So in simple words, you can tell me about a uh, quick definition, okay? Yeah. This is the idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but the good practice is uh, when the companies uh, respect a uh, community, environment, and the laws. Ah, okay, so in your opinion, guys, is this corporate social responsibility model a good practice or not? Yes, of yes. course. Of course, this there is, we go. This is the main topic, social responsibility. Social responsibility. It's uh, related to environment, it's related to society. Exactly. It's, 
is relating to, to the future generation. There we go. So, yes. Remember, now we are probably not talk, talking about ethics, an ethical, an ethical and ethical examples, right? Because those were good practices as well. But in this case, we are using the same definition or the same term in order to talk about this model, okay? About the corporate social responsibility. And of course, yes, those are good practices. So mm -hmm. keep on talking about that one and I'm gonna come back in a while. Okay. okay. What are the, the definitions you already have, guys? Did you finish? Yes, I fi we finished. Okay, so try to review the definition that you got. And for example, as you may see, uh, we were already working with good practice, good practices. Whenever we were discussing about ethical and unethical practices, right? Ya usamos mm -hmm. esa definición, but in this case, uh, we are talking about a different topic that is corporate social responsibility. Let me ask you, what is a good practice? Or is this model based on good practices? What is your opinion? Mm. Uh, maybe these key terms are good practices, but in a different context because it's for helping the the reputation of the company, mm -hmm. uh, or the, the different different ways to to uh, demonstrate the, the compromise the company with the the society. The society. That is a good. That are good. Uh, good uh, impression for the for mm -hmm. the other companies, or maybe exactly. For, there we go. So as you may see, probably this is the same definition or the same key term, but no, of course, we can have like the different definitions. So this is what I want you to do. Review the information that we have there and try to uh, apply those definitions to the corporate social responsibility model, okay? Try to discuss because after that we're coming back uh, to the main room and we're going to be sharing that information okay we still have like um 10 minutes so we can go review that information and discuss about possible examples um whenever we are um, having that information based on the corporate social responsibility okay so go ahead guys okay or businesses that have a certain um, like already they have guidelines to in order that they have to follow either by the that that have been given to them by the law or the government and they have to follow the these practices. The huh yeah most of the time by the government yeah yeah, because uh, like mm, I don't know, maybe what what can be a good example for it comes to my mind like the health um health regulations or sanitary regulations that some companies uh in the food industry, for example, have to follow. Yeah, where I work at. I need to really? follow the regulations, uh, yeah, because um, I have to treat the water in order to be able to, uh, for human for human consume. Oh. So there's there's a actually a pattern that I have to follow in order to be able um, to to use the water. So I use uh, uh, the Clorox, but it's called um, in Spanish it's called hypochlorito del calcio al 70%. So, wow. I, have, so I have a, I me a measurement that I have to use in order to, uh, to supply it to the water. But 
And in order to know that I have a, I have the correct um, dose in order to be able to, to consume it, uh, I, I need to make uh, some water tests. I have a, I have like a little, um, I don't know how you can call it, but it's like, uh, there's some, like some example bottles that they use in the, la in the laboratory. Ah, and like I put, uh, I put, the I water. Yeah, I put water on them, and then I, I take out a, a, a small, uh, it's like a powder that I put in it, but it's it's, it's an active um, powder that when you put it, and if the Clorox, if the water has Clorox, um, it turns purple. Oh. And I have I have like a range table where I could see it. Um, it depends if, if it's uh, the color is like purple too light, it's like 0 0.4, 0 0.3. And if the purple is really um, dark and the number goes higher, the higher I could go is 1.1. .1. If I go past 1.1, it's dangerous in order to be consumed for, by the humans. Oh, wow. Well, it's, it's really a delicate procedure. Yeah, and, 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 and in order to manipulate the Clorox, I have um, some special um, uh, equipment. Oh. I have a special mask uh, that, that is actually only, only for Clorox. Because if you don't use the mask, you can get intoxicated right mm -hmm. away, like in question of like what 10 seconds you'll be intoxicated you could even though you could have some heart issues or even even though die oh, really what? yeah wow it's it's really dangerous so you really have you really need to have good practice in order to not you know get intoxicated yeah. right <laughs> Wow. And all okay, that is that's... regulated by the government, by um, Minsal. Uh -huh. So yeah. I have to give them a report, even though they, they go to the workplace and make sure that everything is okay and everything is working right. Uh -huh. That's super interesting. It sounds dangerous, your job. Yeah, it, it is. dangerous. Yeah, but it seems that you really like it as well. Right? Yeah, it's dangerous, but it's interesting at the same time because um, when you know that um, when you're doing a good job because um, you're giving a good service, actually makes you feel comfortable while you're doing because you know that you have in your hands a lot of lives. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. It's a very big responsibility, right? Wow, it's okay. quite so, interesting, <laughs> right? Quite interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I guess in my case, I wouldn't do that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Me and neither. That, <laughs> yeah, right? really difficult. Oh, every three months, we take some um, water in order to be examined by the laboratory. And we, really? we take it to, yeah, we take it to um, Pusades. We pay oh, wow. every three months $450 in order for they to see if they have some bacteria, some, uh, uh, any chemicals that could affect um, humans. Mm -hmm. they, they, they try to find any, anything that could be wrong on the water. And actually, all the time I've been working right there, um, all the exams have come, I came out 100% good. Wow. Oh, that's amazing. So I, yeah, yeah, so actually, um, actually, Minsal has recommended um, our, our place to hold the, the whole Sonsonate department. So a lot of, a lot of different um, uh, communities come to see how I'm working. And they asked me how I'm doing and to teach them how to do it. Wow. 
So yeah, I may say you have a very interesting job. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's very interesting. So guys, let me ask you, uh, did you find all the definitions? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so do you go to the platform? Because I cannot see that post. No, we were we were just discussing them. I'm going to paste them right now. No, but <laughs> that, that's all right, you know? That is the idea. So you can get those definitions and compare. Because, Genesis, you were asking me about this one, right? Which was yeah. uh, good practices. But yeah. as you may remember, we were using that definition in unit number two. But we were discussing about ethical and unethical practices, right? So this is another context. As you may see, yep. the CSR, of course, this model is based on those good practices. So yeah. what if I ask you, what is a good practice, Genesis? What comes to your mind in this context? Good practices. Mm -hmm. Well, we, we were actually discussing that uh, they can be a set of guidelines or um, ethics or ideas that represent the most efficient or prudent yes. course of action in a given business situation. So they can be like regulations um, established by the authorities or the company itself in order to um, improve the methods within the company in order to make a uh, better results that can help the the you know environment the society yes or exactly anyone that is involved in the process of the, whatever the company is making exactly so you know fred is in a way that is a great example you know because it's helping the environment and not only that but also society people because um yeah this is really important you know so that is a good example so we still have like 10 minutes guys so go ahead take your time and go to the platform and keep on discussing about that i don't know if it is tell my she is still here in the class or maybe yes yes i'm in here Aha, tell me, so. Let us know about your opinion as well, about the definition that you got, guys. And after that, we're coming back to the main room so we can have those examples and those ideas that you were discussing, okay? So keep on working. Okay, thank you. Okay, so the next... Did you guys already finish? Erwin, Kenya, Harvin, you think? I try to do it, teacher. Yes? Yes, teacher, I try to do it. Okay, that's all right. Remember that we they have are... the, We had the parts of the, the, the work, the parts of the work. Uh -huh. I have two words to, for, to investigate. Okay. Pros and reputation. So who is the one who's going to be pasting that information on the platform? Oh, okay. Is it you or Kenya or Harvin? No, me, me no. Mm -hmm. Because I'm checking the platform right now and I don't have your definition, guys. Okay, no? perfect. Okay. Yeah, we still have time, don't worry. Okay. After you're done with that activity, remember, try to review the information that you have, the definitions, and uh, discuss about possible examples. Because okay. as you may see, one or two definitions, we were already using that information in unit number two, stakeholders and good, good practices. Okay, teacher. So take the time so you can discuss about those definitions and possible examples as well. After that, we're coming to the main room so we can have a general discussion. Okay, teacher. Okay. Excellent. Okay, uh, Erwin, by the way, I don't know if you've had issues with the midterm exam because I was checking this last week about your grades. Um, it seems that you're still missing the midterm exam. Sorry, teacher. Uh -huh. Tomorrow I will, be, I will do it. Tomorrow. Okay. 
Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm just asking because see if you want to stay today after the class, we can work on those exercises today and I can help you. But if okay, no, no problem. I, I, I will to, I, I will try to do it tomorrow. That's all right, that's all right. On vacation, I had to work I, I know. To also high in my in my business. Really? Tell me yes. about that. I never close them, my business. Why not? You need to I, take some time yes, so you can I, rest. Yes, I never close and I, I only have one employee. Really? Yes, teacher. The, the on Monday to Sunday. No, come yes. on, Erwin. So when so are you know, going to take vacation time? I don't have vacation. Ne never, never, never. But you deserve it. Yes, the business never sleep. I know, I know. <laughs> so I don't want to be a boss. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's so difficult. But, it's so uh, hard, right? Yes, you said. No, so that's why I'm asking you. If you want me, I can stay today after class, like from five to 10 minutes, and we can review that information and have those exercises ready today. So. You don't need to worry about those exercises tomorrow because I know you're busy. Okay. You have yes. a lot of things to do. So today I, yes? Yes, today I feel tired, teacher. Don't don't you worry. So okay, thank I you. understand. I understand. Thank so, you. Thank you, teacher. Keep on working, guys. Thank you, teacher. Teacher, I have a question. Yeah. Yes, let me know. For this week, we have to work in the section number three, right? Yes, uh, section three. And on Friday, we're going to be working on section number four. Yes. So I guess I mentioned this at the beginning of the class. We are going to have some extra time here in these classes. So you can work in groups, compare the information that you have there, and ask me in case you have doubts about those exercises, OK? Ah, okay, thank you. Yes, so don't you worry, Jeremy. Keep on working. Okay. Okay, we only find the good practice in the context of uh, a lawyer. In the business context is the most common is best practice. Which one are you missing? No, no I have a good practice, but ah, okay, uh, okay. at this new definition of good practice is uh, by the point of view of a, a lawyer. Okay. A lawyer and a judge because uh, I think this is an important part of the United States policy. Mm -hmm. But uh, in, the, in the field of the administration or the business, we have an idea, like okay. Don Phil, that is all of the, follow the rule of the law and the, the policies of the environmental care and something like that. Okay, so if you don't find like a specific uh, definition, try to create, you know, okay. like the idea. Yeah, that, that's all right. Yes, yeah, we, can, we can do that. So we, ha we still have three minutes, three minutes left. We can do that. Thank 
Okay, time to come back and to compare the definitions that you got. I'm still missing one rule. Okay, before we continue, I'm gonna be checking the attendance list in this moment, but please help me out because um, I guess like two or three students, they were having issues, but I don't really remember who they were. So here we go. ¿Crees que Giovanni Valdivieso por ti? Ok. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Ok. Let me do something. Diego Alejandro Caballero López. He was here, right? He was in the class. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Great. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chavez. He was I, here, but he left. Okay, yeah, he was the one, right? Okay, thank you. Yeah. Fredis Vladimir Cortez Lopez. I'm here. Okay. Genesis de Carmen Hernandez Brizuela. Present. Okay. Harbin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Great. Jasmine Marisol Escobar Flores. She was in the class, right? Yes, yeah, she was here. Kenia yes, Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Present. Bien. Lourdes Monserrat Hernández Velázquez. Present. Excellent. Madeline Yamilet Molina González. Present. Selma Cleotilde Peña Martínez. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. He was in the class, right? I guess, yes. Jessica Yanari Cortez Díaz. There and Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Let me see, Jocelyn. No, she's not here. Okay, there we go. Let me see what if, what are the definitions that you got. First one, take a look at this one. We have eight different key terms that we're gonna be reading and using in this section, section number three, and also in section number four. That's why it's very important for you to have like this idea about what are these key terms about. Let me see, who is the first one that I have here? Lourdes. 
let me see what is the definition that you got guys about the first one sustainable development what is that uh, i i didn't remember, remember i remember the word is was in in our team okay uh, we, we have to share out the all the the key terms or only the okay the if you want uh, with your group you can go ahead and give me this too because i have okay. group, so... sustainable development and stakeholder yes if you want to share your screen or read the information that's all right this is ideal oh. go ahead okay i will share the screen please mm. Sustainable development. Yes, that is the first one. Yeah. It's a broad term to describe policies, projects, and investment that provide benefits today without sacrificing environmental, social, and personal good in the future. That is a part. Then the, the other part of the concept is the sustainable development goals. That is a part of uh, are of call for action by all countries, poor, rich, and middle income to promote prosperity while protecting the planet. Wow, interesting. I really like that definition. Now it's a broad term, I know. But in this case, uh, yes, the main goal is to protect, protect, right? So, uh, what is the second? The second. Second one. Let me see. Stakeholders. Uh, stakeholders. Mm -hmm. the, the stakeholders is a party that has in, have interest interested in, in the company and can either affect or be affected 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 mm -hmm. by the business. The primary stakeholders in typical corporation are invest in. It's inventors, employees, customers, and suppliers. Okay, there we go. So the primary stakeholders, as you may see, we have those uh, examples, different examples, are investors, employees, employees customers. customers, and suppliers. So class, whenever we talk about these stakeholders, uh, who are the ones who are gonna be um, how can I say this? Los beneficiados de este modelo. Who are the ones who are going to have this? You know, I, uh, we, when we discussed this topic the last time, mm -hmm. uh, it was only focused uh, in the, you know, the investors mostly. But uh, on that definition, uh, we got the same one. And it says that it's anyone that is involved uh, in the business directly, or they can be internal or external because they can be like internal could be the employees because uh, if the company fails or if it succeeds, well, they are going to be directly affected exactly. as well as the investors and the clients. And then the external stakeholders can also be the suppliers and because it is, anyone that can be affected by the company's uh, development. So yeah, this is what I like from this definition, you know, because in unit number two, of course, we were having the same definition, but we were like just um, uh, thinking about this one, the investors, right? But no, in this case is people who is involved in the company, in the business, investors, employees. So in even suppliers. So what a great definition. Any other comments about this? About stakeholders, about sustainable development? Or is uh, it clear, class? Yes, tell me. About stakeholder, we were reading an article mm -hmm. when they they describe an a stakeholder. Uh, uh, when you you are implementing a, a, a program that uh, CSR and is the stakeholder uh, have to be agree with with the program because they are involved 
when the, the his the, the, their money is in is on it. So they when you are a, for example a CEO with a company, you have to to plan to 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 do a, a good planning. You have to present to the investor the program how will will be uh, 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 functioning. How, how will we work? Working, uh -huh. uh, we will working and what will be the, the, the profit or the benefits? That, that problem because yes, it, it, CSR is, is very, very, uh, a lot of people uh, could be affected in a good way, but always the, the, the company is a model, it's a model of business, so they always want to, to get profit for that. There we go. Exactly. And I'm in agreement with what you say, what you express, you know, because yes, I was also reading about this information. I have been reading about this model, you know, and yes, it says that this is not like, um, like the owner of the company's decision, you know, no, it needs to go through, you know, all people involved in this business, in this company. So sometimes we're talking about um, hundreds of people, you know, who is involved in this one, because uh, the benefits in the end are not only for uh, the company, right? But for society. So excellent definition, guys. Let me see. Thank you so much, Fernando and Genesis. This is, this is the, the, the new trend of the business teacher, not only watch for uh, the one part mm -hmm. but it's uh, all the people involved in the in the business all the people that uh, the the providers the the people that are uh, in, in, involved in the business like employees like investors like suppliers like customers and then there is a uh, the, the the new meaning of the business business is a uh, uh, community Exactly. It's not only business, mm -hmm. but communities. And for that reason, all of them are stakeholders. Exactly. Uh, we need to get a, a more education in that field like here in El Salvador, because we see in the other way, but the great companies are working like that. Yeah, probably this is something that we uh, she'll imitate but sometimes it is very hard you know because it also involves a lot of investment you know yes yes right so this is what companies they don't like to do probably they like those initiatives right but it's very expensive very expensive you know but someday we are we're gonna you know probably see more companies who are uh, involved in this model. Let me see, good practices. And the other one, environmental sustainability. Let's look for another group. What did you find out about this one? Environmental sustainability. Oh, sorry, yes. The, the, the main the the definition of the, Go ahead, please. Good practice. Mm -hmm. Okay, the main definition of environmental sustainability is a responsible interaction with the environment. This is the first one. Responsible interaction with the environment to avoid the, the degradation of natural resources for the short and long period of time. Okay. This is a, all of the company in... in in the today's feel of a building, the, the, the new buildings are working in that way, that they have interaction with the environment. There are some kind of, uh, of uh, bricks that uh, have a special uh, interaction with the environment. And there are many, many new advanced in, in that field. Mm -hmm. And good practice, good practice is, a, well, in business is a proven activity of process that has been successfully 
uses by multiple enterprises and have been shown to produce a reliable result. This is good practice, but uh, in many situations, uh, there are the, the practitioner, the, the lawyer or the accountant or, or the people that are uh, doing her professional job as a um, uh, freelancer. No. And in this, in this case means using a standard practice, methods and procedures conforming to, to the law, conforming to the, the environmental processes or, or environmental friendly, and uh, that uh, show diligence, prudence, and, and care. Okay. So, this is a, a good practice. I know, right? We have like those good examples about good practices. As I was mentioning before, as you may remember in unit number two, section number two, we were having the same definition, right? Good practices. But this is another context. So yes, you you were right, David, with those examples. I don't know if Andres, Doris and William, you want to have like an extra comment or example based on these definitions? Because you were in the same group, right? Good practices. Yes, yes. And environmental sustainability. Well, maybe not, right? Están de acuerdo, dicen, con lo que David dijo. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> Let's see. The other group, Erwin and the rest of the group. What okay. were the definitions that you have for this one? Reputations. Uh -huh. and? <clears throat> and fraud? Fraud, yes. Fraud, yes, okay. The reputation, we have a two different uh, meaning, okay? okay? Two different meaning because you can have a good reputation or bad reputation. That's all right. Yes. And the reputation is, it is similar with the brand of the of the, of the company. And um, if you have a good CRM, you will have a good reputation. But if you have a bad, for example, if you don't don't promise, okay, that you say that the co at the customer you will have a bad reputation. Yeah. The, the reputation have a have a uh, a price in the mind and price in the world of the money. This is the most important for the, the all the company, their reputation. Because for example, if you want to sell uh, the company, if you have a good reputation, the you will, you will have a good money, if you have a good reputation. But if you have a bad reputation, you will have a, a less money. But the reputation is for the company, but I, uh, there are many meaning in the world. For example, you can change the reputation for the for the for the for the, for the person. One person maybe have a good reputation, or other person maybe will have a bad reputation. Yes, it's all about the society. Exactly. So. In your opinion, or guys, you as well, uh, whenever we are looking or we are implementing or companies are implementing this type of model, are they looking for uh, having a good reputation or a bad one? The CSR model. Good reputation. The CRM is for, is for to get a good reputation to for get? the world, for the, okay. for the personal, because the company think about that the human the human relationship mm -hmm. okay? human relationship with the society okay interesting any other comment now so let me have another one who were the ones working with you uh, erwin kenya jessica and 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 harvin and we, we uh, separate the, the, the meaning. Okay, so what is the other definition? Who got this one? 
Throw, yeah, okay, yeah. throw, this throw. Throw, uh, yeah. throw, yeah, so, throw. It was yeah. you. Okay, is this is, is the, the second one, is the bad reputation for the, the company, mm -hmm. yeah? Is the, is the continual, but the name from the bad reputation for the company. Throw is a similar, you steal the, the customer, you don't promise the customer, yeah? Don't give the, the truth at the customer. For example, lawyer in the United States is a many fraud in the, in the, in the United States. Yeah. For example, the lawyer. This is a, um, for all the examples, you have an engineer, yeah? And you build about, about for example, the hurricane, the, 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 the problem that happened in Miami. Do you remember, teacher? The one hurricane yes, go right. down. Right, exactly. It was like this. What is the name? Of this? It, no, it's not a building. Come here, un, it's a building. It's a, apartment. Yeah, it's right. It's exactly. a building. Yeah, it's a building. It's a trial. I still remember about that one. Yeah. The 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 own promise. Oops, it's a good, perfect. No problem. We study about the the the. This is a good apartment, but this is the answer. Okay. Exactly. For this, one, for this one, after that, the company will have a demand. Yeah. Exactly. Imagine, yeah, because people they knew that they were having those issues, you know, but they didn't care. They didn't pay attention to their requests. So imagine, yeah. In this case, for that company, of course, they will never recover that good reputation that they had, you know, because a lot of people died there. So, yeah, I still remember about that issue. So, great example, Erwin. Interesting. I try, I try to do it. I try to do it. That's all right. Okay, we're still missing the last ones. Compliance, management, and go green. What is go green? What comes to your mind whenever we say go green? La comida, teacher. It's, no, not really. It's a salad. <laughs> it's a salad. <laughs> salad. No, not really. Okay. Que grupo falta? Let me see. Who is missing? I guess it's Fernando. He already participated. William, Doris, Kenya, Harvin, Thelma, Madeline, Lourdes, guys, let me listen to you. What did you get? This is a time for you to practice. Remember, you can read this information if you want. I just yes, want to. I can. I can read it. That's all right. Go ahead and read. Yeah. You can go to the platform. There you have those definitions, I guess, right? And you can read yes. that information. Yeah, give me compliance management, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, okay, compliance man management is a process of ensuring employees and activities across the organization are in line with law, regulation, and requirements. Requirements, yes. And requirements. Yes. And go green means to pursue, pursue a knowledge and practices that can lead uh, to more environmental lead, I'm sorry, to more environmental friendly and ecologically understand how to take environment, environment and sustain it's natural resources to foreign and future rich generations. Okay, thank you, Madeline. Okay, go green. 
compliance management is the process of ensuring employees and activities across the organization are in line with laws, regulations, and requirements. So yes, this is whenever the company makes sure that employees, they are following the rules, they are um, in the same, uh, how do we say this? In the same in the right? Yes, in the same, in the, in the line with the laws, regulations, and requirements. And go green, channel. exactly. Go green means to, to have those like good practices. What examples are, uh, or great examples are about this one? Go green. Ecological. Responsible decisions. Yeah, examples. Can you zoom this this space, teacher? Which one? To see better that you, you were sharing. No, no, not what you. Not yes, it was, it was me. But I let, let me see if I can. Go green. I guess we were discussing about these examples in the previous class. How do I do that? Zoom, aquí, verdad? Yes, this one. Okay. Let me scroll down. Yes. There we go. Okay. Ecological responsible decision and lifestyles. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are talking about some uh, companies like uh, supermarkets that are uh, avoiding to give you a, a plastic bag. Okay. And, uh, things like that. And, uh, let me see what, what other example we can use in that case. Uh, uh, that uh, some companies is not uh, are asking to you to get a, a coffee cup, no, not use a recycle, but no, use a recycle, not use a... Uh -huh. a uh, how do you say the sechable? No, not use that uh, that kind of of cups, but you have a uh, you go to Starbucks and you have your your own cup. your own cup. Okay. Yes, and they give you a a refill, something like that too. Okay, interesting. Like yeah. for example, um, Walm no, yeah, Walmart yeah. stopped uh, handing bags plastic bags yes. plastic bags and um i i have mixed feelings about that kind of thing because uh they stopped giving plastic bags but they now sell uh exactly. other they say that they are reusable but i think in the end it was a decision made uh, to make profit mostly because they are saving money and now they are selling the bags so now i'm not they are sure selling. yeah and whenever we go to the supermarket well in my case i always forget about bringing my bag you know so i need to buy <laughs> yeah. another one to get another one so you, you have a collection <laughs> yeah. teacher. i do i do those green bags yeah so yeah i spent yeah. more so exactly genesis so yeah. as you may see those are examples, great examples about these companies. So have but you in, heard about in, the term? Yes, we have. Tell me that. In, you, in Europe, teacher, uh -huh. you don't uh, any, <laughs> any, okay, how say, ninguno, any, any, any? Uh -huh. no one, no one, no one store, no one supermarket gives you a, a bag. You need to carry your own bag. Okay. In every supermarket, in every store. And if uh, you use the, the bathroom in, in Europe, uh, you need to pay for that. Wow. So to avoid the, the because the water in Europe is, you know, expensive. <laughs> it is. So let me ask. Doris, escuchamos a Doris ahorita. Doris, can you name at least one, not three, one corporate social responsibility program 
You have heard in El Salvador. Mm, I I have heard in, in the in the internet is a la Curazao. Ah, okay. La Curazao Grupo Calvo is other other corporation. Mm. They have a, a programs with responsibility, social, social responsibility. What is this program about? Uh, the, the La Curazao have a, a, a program for uh, improve the uh, schools. Oh, really? Yes. It's in that way, they are helping. Okay, they yes. are helping. Oh, interesting. Yes. Mm -hmm. And in Grupo Calvo, they uh, have a, a program for women. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. What is this program about? They are helping women. Uh, for a uh, uh, teaching, teaching. Uh, uh, I don't know, teaching a, 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 with the women, uh, learning a, a something for you, for their, for her, improve your, your life. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now I get the idea. So, yeah. yes, in that way they are helping. Yes. So interesting. And let me see. Let me have the last comment because it's already time. To finish the class. Tell me about the last one. Do you think a CSR program is an initiative small businesses can implement? Yes or no, and why? <laughs> really, I have idea. I have an idea. <laughs> no. <laughs> Because all, all company, yeah, uh, it's some. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's an initiative. A small businesses can implement or not. Is it easy for them or not? Some company said uh, implement uh, helping other people, but and uh, but. I don't believe it. <laughs> yeah, right. I guess it's very hard. Very yeah. hard. So, you know, guys, we're going to uh, keep on discussing about this topic in tomorrow's class. But time is over. Imagine. Time flies. So, yeah, I already checked the attendance list. So, yeah. We're going to continue with the same topic because we didn't have like the second part of the discussion part, uh, discussion uh, activity. So we're going to stop the class here. Thank you so much for joining this class, participating, and we're going to continue tomorrow, okay? I really hope you have a, a great night. A question, teacher, about about the, the platform. Yes. I, I, I thought that you said that this one was uh, 3.8. No. This is in the 1.7. One, one. The last Section one, one, she didn't mind. We are discussing about this one. In, uh, I, I, don't, I don't remember. In that time was the point, I remember the point at the end. Mm -hmm. But uh, now you said that they fix it, but. That's what they say. <laughs> Section number one, right? 1.7 and the, the last one, number five. That's okay. She didn't mind participating from abroad. She didn't mind participating alone teams, alone teams from abroad. She didn't mind participating alone team from teams abroad. From abroad, teams yes. From abroad. So that is the correct one. I, I, I try with with period at the end, without period, and the same. This is. Uh, I guess it is the apostrophe. 
El apóstrofe. Mm -hmm. That's it. Try to copy and paste. El que yeah. está arriba, yeah. Yeah. el apóstrofe, because... It's right, yeah. That's it. <laughs> this platform is so picky. I just, <laughs> excellent <Wow>. job, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Okay, thank you, teacher. A pleasure. So, guys, any other questions or comments? If not, no, teacher. really hope you to have a great night. Nos vemos mañana, um, I have a question, but I'm not sure. I'm mm -hmm. the, um, on the 3.5 uh, of this section, I see that the it says paragraph. that select, no, the, the homework 3.5, it says select the verbs that can be followed by either gerund or infinitive, but it it only lets you pick one, but on some, I see uh, some that can, more than one that could be used with gerunds, but I'm not sure if I'm mistaken or, because for example, the fourth one, a uh, hope, uh, I think you can say hope to go or hope, mm, or no, maybe not. Oh, let me, I, Maybe I'm wrong and I haven't checked Number it. four, yeah. Yeah, probably I'm just mistaken. <laughs> no, don't you worry. Hate. Yeah. <laughs> hate to watch or hate watching or hate, hate. enjoy. But enjoy could be enjoy. I enjoy going to the movies or enjoy. I enjoy to. Yeah, you're right. In this case, yeah, but it only lets you. Pick one. Pick one. Uh -huh. I don't know why. But enjoy, yeah, this is part of the list that you can use with gerunds and infinitives. Yeah, so. So, hate. Uh -huh. Let me hate show you the other guys. If you want to compare, the first one is continue, like, start, hate, and begin. Okay. This is section number three. Tarea 3.5. Ahí estamos. Ok, Vamos. thank you. Don't you worry. Vamos a trabajar estas secciones, section number three, eh, según la programación, el miércoles. Miércoles. Ok. Para que tengamos okay. la section three ready. Muy bien, chicos. Ok. Ok. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. Okay, so. Algo más, chicos. No, teacher. No. Si no hay más, eh, vamos entonces eh, a dejar la clase hasta acá, okay? Thank you so much for coming. You can go Thank now. You. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. <laughs>